So when I think of Hank McDeed, first thing I think of is loyal. Very welcoming. Witty. Integrity. Down to earth. Kind. Really good natured. Actually really funny. Told it like it was. Very genuine. Honest. Honorable. Structured. A lot of fun. Genuine. Hilarious. Dedicated to his students. Really relatable. Respect. And hardworking. He was just a guy I always felt comfortable going to. Uh, caring. Compassionate. Trustworthy. Character. Highly respected. Sensitive. Kind. Role model. I always felt he is what he is. He's wissy wig. What you see is what you get. Fun. And really cares about the school. Just definitely dedicated to all the staff and students at Can High School. As a high school student, Hank McDeed went to Bishop Vian High, to which Mr. Goff observed. And yet somehow they let you in. And they were glad they did, because Hank McDeed became a football star for the Shamrocks. His former football coach, Paul O'Boyd, tells us about his talents. Hank had a great uh, role model in his dad, uh, and has inherited many of his dad's qualities, and he certainly has added to them as he's gone on in his career. Uh, Hank was uh, just a fine football player and student here at Bishop Fian uh, back in uh, graduating in 1976. Uh, he was the captain of the football team. He was a uh, all-star of the Sun Chronicle, the, of the newspaper, and the Southeastern Massachusetts Conference. Uh, we uh, kind of get, uh, made our team around Hank. Uh, we had an excellent uh, senior season. Uh, Hank was the captain. Was the, uh, was the fullback and the linebacker. And if you're going to mold your team around someone, uh, Hank was the guy to do it. Uh, he uh, uh, was running wishbone offense, uh, fullback being a key uh, player in that type of offense because he carries the ball so much. And uh, as a linebacker, sort of the, the uh, key person in the defense. And so we built, kind of built our team around Hank, and uh, it, it, it paid off. Uh, He's a fine person, as you probably know from Canton High School. He's not someone who's going to give you uh, a super amount of words. He's going to give you the truth, and he's going to give it to you straight. What you see is what you get, and I love that. He, he makes every word count. He's not going to say a lot, of, a lot so you listen um, when he shares his thoughts. Anytime that you talk to him, you kind of knew exactly what you were going to get from him. He never, never puts on airs. He was down to earth, told it like it was and um, could just crack a joke. When we were lucky, he'd show his humor in student projects. Mr. McDeed has a definite presence. It's hard to put into words. That's definitely going to be missed. His perseverance and that he comes to work every day and does probably one of the hardest jobs in this, in administering discipline in the most equitable way he can. Hank showed up at Canton High School. Uh, it was really like, um, you know, a, just a new huge force had, had stepped onto the campus and immediately you knew that there was, this person was going to make a difference here. I think he has a, a perspective uh, that covers everything from, you know, someone that was a, a young teacher all the way through a growing administrator to now he's been a father, he's a grandfather now. So he just speaks from many different perspectives and um, he's really applied that to the job and to the kids. You know, kids will come back and they'll be like, Mr. McDeed, and they have this, like, you know, fear because he's like, Mr. McDeed, and he stands in the hallway. And, um, I mean, maybe he has that little bit, but I, I guess for me, my perspective is I just see this, like, absolutely wonderful, genuine, funny, family-oriented, student-centered guy who just, you know, I'm really sad to see him go. And over his 17 years here, he's made a huge difference. Um, you know, he's got that bark is worse than his bite kind of thing as an assistant principal. You know, you look at him and stereotypically you think, this guy's a tough guy who's going to be, uh, who you don't want to cross if you're a kid. But the reality is I've worked with him a ton of times with kids in trouble. And he's probably the most compassionate 
guy that I've ever worked with. Um, there's so much more than that, uh, you know, that tough persona that I think people see. I get to know him on a personal level, and there's teachers that don't, so he has told me stories with tears in his eyes, with laughter in his voice and a beautiful smile and sometimes in his job he can't always do those things but when you get him on the side and you just sit with him he's just the best listener and a great person to talk to so I'm gonna miss him a lot. My first year was sort of just survival I didn't know him really well I knew that he was the assistant principal and then early in our second year we did a school-wide lip dub video uh, and Mr. McDeed you know if you don't know him seems very serious uh, kind of scary uh, and in the lip dub uh, I remember watching it, and I was in a different part of the video, or uh, the building when the video was filmed. But when he was in it, uh, he just kind of popped up in the background, and he was doing this, I guess I'd call it arm dance, uh, as somebody else was dancing by. Uh, and it kind of just was so not what I was expecting, and it, made, it really made me laugh. And it was sort of what made me say, like, I need to get to know uh, this guy a little bit better. He's touched many kids' lives in a positive way. He's turned a lot of lives around. We'll miss him. Can we just go wild for a second for Mr. McDeed? I want to tell you about our vice principal, Mr. McDeed. You can't think of Mr. McDeed without thinking of Link Leaders, an amazing way for each student to introduce freshmen into our school community, with him spearheading what we see today. Oh. Bulldog class of 2015, let me hear some noise! The Boomerang, or Link Leader Project, is Hank McDeed's lasting legacy here at Canton High. He helped found the program in 2009. He describes this on the superintendent's corner. And that, and we were talking, saying, you know, we need something more to generate excitement in the school and to bring the freshmen more into our school community. And uh, didn't want to just throw, just have pizza and loud music and say, you know, that works, you know, everybody's excited now, because that doesn't really work either. We wanted something that had a goal to it. Link leaders are partnered in pairs of two and are given a relatively small group of freshmen to get to know and answer any questions they may have about school or extracurricular activities. We spoke to Mr. McDeed, Vice Principal of CHS and the head of the Boomerang Project, to find out a little more of what the program is all about. I definitely think in the three years that we've been here, students, the upper class and the freshmen are benefiting from the program. I think the upper class are benefiting because it gives them some exposure to leadership in the building and to help build bridges between themselves and the freshmen. I think the freshmen are, are getting better exposure to the school, uh, feeling more comfortable in the building when they come in that first day. Instead of not knowing anybody, there's a whole group of link leaders waving to them, showing them what's going on. If you're a freshman and you want to be part of this, raise your Watching, you know, I'm standing in the hallway watching all the kids go by, and uh, this freshman girl, I mean, I've been doing this a long time, a little freshman girl walks by and goes, good morning, Mr. McDeed. Almost knocked me off my face. Wow, good morning. Usually kids will walk by and go, oh, Mr. McDeed. You know, so she, it was great. I mean, mm -hmm. she knew me as something, uh, obviously, I, you know, I'm the assistant principal. I'm obviously the heavy in the building for other than obvious purposes, but uh, uh, she, was relaxed enough to come say something like that to me and so we I could tell right away we started an atmosphere and created something that's really important in the building that link between the students and the faculty at all levels that she felt comfortable enough the very first day of school mm -hmm. to walk by and say that to me and several students have as well so yeah. to me it, it's fantastic. So thank you Mr. McDeed for everything that you have done for our school. I love when someone um, can feel valued and appreciated at the end of their career. You know that they've done right by kids. Every time we te teach the, uh, talks to the faculty, it is literally from the heart, and um, there is such integrity and um, you know a true sincerity to everything that he says. Real pleasure to work here all those years. I work here for you. Because that's what the job is working for you guys trying to create an environment or a climate that you guys can do the best you can do so the kids can get the best they can get. And that's what I tried to do. Hope I did that most of the time. I tried to do it all the time. I always try to improve and, and better myself. And people have been asking me, you're counting down, you're counting down. It's just been too long to count down, but now I'm counting <laughs> Four more lunch duties, <laughs> two more days, and then we'll to the end of June. 
He has a great sense of humor, and when he gets on a roll and gets laughing, he gets all of the rest of us laughing. We will miss that fun and that sense of humor around here. You know, as far as the fun part, I think he, um, you know, he, he has a very serious demeanor. Um, administration can, can bring out all different type of personalities. But if you ever sit there and talk with him and get him going. Taking a few moments to take this view in for the last time. Yes. It's been, uh, it's been great though. We've been here a number of times. I don't know how many proms I've been to. We've gotta be over 20 anyway. This is certainly the best view we've had of all the 20 I've been to. And uh, it's really been a joy. Not, ha! No, I'm just kidding. It's been fun. I can't be serious by saying it's been fun. Or it's because you come to a prom, everybody says, oh, you're going to the prom. It's like, it, it's not my prom. I'm not, it's not like it's, I'm a senior in high school. It, but uh, to see the kids have fun is a good thing. So I guess I'll go watch the kids have fun for a couple hours later. Uh, so we're getting ready for graduation uh, this last this past graduation and I'm in the office with Derek and Hank and Hank walks in and he he does this little this little brush of his hair and he goes on and on about how he's having a great hair day um, and I always thought that was great because you know although Hank's retiring he's always got that young vibrant personality I do have one quick story from recently is that the reason why his hair looks so good is because he ran out of hairspray and he doesn't need to buy any more for the rest of his life my favorite memory at the end of every year, he's the pit master at our barbecues and um, he cooks up a good burger. His Master Chef award winning performance at the grill at the faculty cookout every year. When it comes to making hamburgers, guy makes a great hamburger at the end of every single year. He has a very dry sense of humor, which I truly appreciate. And that can be seen in this music video where Mr. McDeed was a rock star. Many cameos over the years, and in this particular case, let us interrupt them last minute to make it work. Yeah, for those of you that don't know, Hank's dad uh, was a longtime administrator in the North Harbor Public Schools. He was my junior high principal. Um, you absolutely 100% didn't mess with uh, that Mr. McDeed or this Mr. McDeed. Um, but I, I think one thing that, that Hank takes pride in is that he was his own person as an educator and as an administrator. Uh, but his dad would be remarkably proud, I believe, um, because anyone that dedicates himself to service, uh, be it the military or a volunteering or just working on behalf of the faculty and, uh, and kids for uh, multiple decades, and for Hank, I believe it's 36 years, uh, you know, his dad's smiling uh, because, you know, it, it, to have that longevity and to, to, have, to make that impact, I know that was important to his dad. And it's important to Hank, too. So, um, yeah, he's smiling down on him. Very happy for him and his family that he can, you know, go on with this next chapter of his life and enjoy uh, a lot of fun and, you know, time with his family. Thank you, Hank. Thank you for your time here. I wish that he gets to be on the beach, enjoy the Cape, and just relax, 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 and never have to discipline anyone ever again. I just think he, he's crushed it, and he's done a great job, and he's got great things ahead of him. And... You know, I hope he enjoys every moment of it. I wish you well. Enjoy your family. Enjoy the kids. Enjoy the grandkids. Take in life for all it's worth. You deserve it, Hank. I hope you don't ever have to wear a tie again and get to wear tank tops. Let your, uh, your blonde hair flow as much as you want. I told you I want you to see you with a, a man bun next time you come into Canton High School. He's a calming presence. He's going to be missing these halls. And uh, the most thing I'm going to miss is this year being on the first floor. I saw him between almost every period. Stand with his arms folded. Very serious. But he says hi to everyone that walks by him. He just has such a calmness. Even if it's, you know, the most heightened student or someone crying or whatever it is, he just... He stays here and he has this like really amazing way to just make everyone feel better. It's all about, it's all about people. You know, we're not building cars or fixing things like that. We're working with people, young people, to try to make them better citizens. And you guys do a fantastic job. I was just glad to be part of it. Thank you.
Love you, Hank.